That's the Creative CD200. I thought this would make for a bit of an interesting video. Two CDs here, both are 80 minutes. One's Tayo Yudin, the other is TDK, which is our CMC. Uh, now, what I found was interesting in the, oh, pardon me, still sick, the Creative CD200 is that the Tayo Yudin does not work. It just does not like that disc. Maybe it doesn't like the colour. The TDK disc, just one of the, these, this disc must be about seven years old. I found them on an old spindle. Uh, and it reads. Now it doesn't read every time, but it reads most times, which is more than enough. Now the way I was able to test, was I have this old version of uh, Windows 2000 there, which is from Geez, that'd be 2002, 2003, I would have burnt this. It's a TDK CDR80. 80. 80 minute, which is 700 meg. Same as all these discs these days, because you can't get the old ones anymore, obviously, because they're long gone, 74 minutes. So, pop that in. As you can see, I've moved the floppy disc a bit higher, because I uh, cable wouldn't reach. Yeah. That's another interesting thing, this floppy drive needed the cable in the wrong way around. It has notches. Normally you line the notches up with the side that has the, the notches or the dips in it, but this was actually reversed. So I found that interesting. I've also changed the video card over from a Sound Blaster, uh, what was it? Sound Blaster Pro 2. To a Sound Blaster 16 value. Um, the reason is I think that stereo sound is much cooler on a 486 than mono. So, and there you go. Oh, it's meant to connect a mouse. Ah. Now I've just got to set it up. I've already got DOS on there, so we should be good. <coughs> Thanks for watching. RetroJunkie.net for more.